All right, let's go ahead and uh, step, we've we allowed them to cool for at least 10 minutes. Step, uh, next step, step 11, record the mass of a clean, dry 250 milliliter beaker. We've already done this, but we're gonna do it again. Turn on my scale, make sure I'm still in grams. Uh, maybe I have some chaff in here because it seems a little heavier. Let me clean it again. 24.8, that is one-tenth of a gram more than it was before. And that can be due to temperature changes. It can be due to stuff in it. Let me see if there's just one more thing of stuff I can get out of here. Maybe it's got some of the beans in there. Let's see how we do. Aha, 24.7. So 24.7 grams, which is the same as it was before. It can be plus or minus a tenth max difference. Now, uh, mass of the beaker with the beans. And I've got my beans in my bowl here. I'm gonna try and pour them in carefully. Since they're cooled off, I can touch them and feel fine. But I don't wanna miss any either. Because you will see a mass difference and you do not want to see the mass difference because you dropped beans. All right, so now, okay, it was mass of graduated cylinder with 100 milliliter of green coffee beans was 112.9. Now with the roasted beans, it is 95.4. So we have lost mass due to chemical reaction, which formed gases. So no mass is lost, conservation of mass, we just have to find it. Uh, now, mass of graduate cylinder with 100 milliliters of roasted coffee beans. Uh, I will use my mass of clean, dry, graduated cylinder from before. Now I'm gonna put in, and sure enough, it's the same, it's 41.8. Now here, I'm gonna sort of cup them in again, use my hand as a, as a What's the term I'm looking for? Funnel. Use my hand as a guide, a funnel, if you will. And I put it to 100. That's about as close as I can get to 100 without going over. And you can see right there, right at 100. And I get 73.7 grams. Oh! Sorry, uh, it was 112.9 in the graduated cylinder before. It was 109.1, ah, yes. So we've lost some mass, uh, perhaps not as much. With 100 milliliters of green coffee beans, with 100 milliliters of roasted coffee beans. Oh, yeah, <laughs> look at the volume. So look, at, I only had like a little volume of beans left over before, so. Anyway, it should be interesting to see uh, how much the beans have changed. And um, because I made it to 100 milliliters, I'm not under 100 milliliters, there's no volume to record, so I'm gonna X that out too. And that is that. those are the measurements for your first roast.